It's how to build a 3D printed scythe chariot time on Patriot Contraptions. This is a requested video. I got a request in on my original video from the comment section. And thank you to the person who requested it. I, I cannot pronounce your username, but thank you. And I do try to follow up on all the requests I get. So here's the video as requested of how to build the 3D printed scythe chariot. Now I couldn't reprint this. It simply takes too long and too much PLA. So let's start with the components. The first one was just your basic tire with six spokes. Then the second tire is where it gets interesting and the important part is to have these evenly spaced pegs along the outside of the tire as those will actually power the scythe part of the chariot. And then you've got the center cog that has five pegs in it and those are spaced so that the pegs on the wheel will be able to rotate them similar to a gear. As a matter of fact, if I were to re-3D print this, I would recommend using gears to power the scythe part of the chariot and not using Leonardo's cog design. Simple reason being the cogs are really hard to get perfect when you're 3D printing them. And I think you could easily hide a gear system in the base of the chariot frame. Now up on top you've got the scythe, which as you can see is a simple one inch disc, which then has pieces of yard sign inserted to it to look like the blades. Now for the actual housing, there's a hole going through the bottom of it that is for the axle which is also a piece of yard sign stake, and a hole on the top, which will be for the shaft of the shive chariot to spin on. Important to note that the cog must fit through the side of the housing, as otherwise, without that being able to fit through there, you will not be able to actually insert it into the frame, as the frame is entirely 3D printed in one print. So very important to note that make sure the side of the chariot is big enough for the cog to fit through. And then you've got your shaft that it pivots on, a piece of yard sign, sticks down through the middle of that cog. Then next up you will have to insert the tires. I first insert the tire without the gear on it and that just slides through the base and the bottom of the 3D printed central piece of the chariot. And then on the other side I then slide on the wheel which actually has the spokes on it and the gearing that drives the actual scythe. Now all of this will be hot glued together firmly for it to function properly and that's how I get the entire chariot together. I hope this helps you out. I just, the 3D printed files, I could not find them so I will not be able to upload the 3D printed files for this but Hopefully this gives you a starting point on what to look for in your design and how I built mine. Thanks for commenting. Always, if you have an idea for a video, please comment. I'll try to get, do my best to get back to it. Thank you for watching, and have a fantastic day. Patriot Contraptions, signing out.